Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to talk about an aspect of C-Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms controls, and that is called the focus. And the reason we're going to do that is because in upcoming videos, we're going to be looking into events like mouse click events and mouse scroll wheel events. And the topic of focus comes into play when you're talking about those events because you want to make sure, for example, if I want to zoom into a chart, you see a chart here, if I wanted to zoom in, um, I want to make sure that my chart has focus and it's the one I'm actually zooming into. So it's going to be important if we talk about events that we also understand focus. And the purpose of this video is to show us how we can find out which controls have focus and help us get a better understanding of how that whole focus thing works. So here's our application. All I've done is C-Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms. I've drag and dropped a chart you see here, a numeric up down, a rich text box, a regular text box, and a label. And what this application does is it checks every tenth of a second for which of these controls has focus, which is the active control that has focus. And you can see when I start it up, it says the focus control is this chart one. And it hasn't changed because everything is just sitting there. What I'm going to do is go through and with my left mouse button, click on each of these controls and see what happens to the focus. So I'm going to go to the numeric up down, left click, and it returns that there is a null control focused. There's something about this numeric up down that you can look into, but it doesn't really take focus. So I'm going to next click on this rich text box, and you can see it got focused when I clicked on it. Now the regular text box, it got focused when I clicked on it. Now the label, nothing. And if I click on the chart again, nothing. So you can see that mouse button clicks on these controls, the chart, the label, and to some extent the numeric up down, as well as others, uh, really doesn't give you a good focus. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tab key, which is a nice way in the Windows forms to step from control to control automatically. And hopefully each time you step from control to control, you should get focus. So right now it's on this bottom text box. I hit tab and it goes up to this numeric up down. It doesn't really accept the focus. Hit it again. Now it's on this rich text box. Tab again. Now it goes to the chart. You can see the tab allows the chart to accept focus. And now back to this text box. And now back to the numeric up down. So no matter how you do it, you can't get focus on the label. But the tab does allow you to step into the chart and get focus. So that's a nice way to, to get a little bit better understanding about how focus works. Let's look at the C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application that helps us do this. So here's our application. Again, in the design, I've got a chart, numeric up, down, rich text box, regular text box, and a label. You can add other controls as you want. All I'm doing is I'm defining up here a string focus control old. So what I'm going to be doing in the logic is each time I check to see if there's a new focus control. So I'm going to compare it to the previous focus control, and that's the old one. So I'm going to make it so only the changed focus shows up in our text box. Otherwise, it would just keep updating the same control. And then when I start this up, initialize component, and I'm just in enabling a timer. And here's our timer. We select it. It's a 100 milliseconds, so every tenth of a second. And the event handler is going to be finding the focused control. And to do that, it's going to run this method, which is find focus control and you pass it the present control and it returns the focus control. It's all done by this timer one tick. So what we're going to do is we're going to define every timer tick, every tenth of a second. We're going to call the find focus control, which we'll talk about, and we're going to feed it this, which is this main form one. And it's going to return whatever child of that form one is focused. And we're going to define a control. We're going to call it control focused. And here we're going to extract the actual name from that control using the control focus dot name property. And we're going to define a string, which is the latest focus control. 
And we got a little logic here. If this new focus control is not equal to the old one, if it has changed, then we're going to print in the text box focus control and then the focus control new string. And then we're going to take that focus control new and set it as focus control old. So next time we can compare it to that. So that's the timer one tick and the actual code to do the determination of what's the focus control is this. So we take in a control and it returns a control. And here is the code where we say var container, we're naming a container, is a control as I container control and interface provides the functionality for a control to act as a parent for other controls. So we're passing in this, which is the form one, is going to be the parent. While the container is not equal null, we're going to say control equals container.activeControl. And active control it gets or sets the control that is active on the container control. So if I feed in the form one, it's going to say, okay, which of the child controls is active and return that as a control. And then we say container equals control as I container control. And then we return that control. So it's kind of confusing, but this seems to work fine. So basically you feed it our main form one and it comes out with whatever the active control is. So that's a nice way to get a better understanding about focus and how to get focus. In upcoming videos, we're going to talk about using that so that when we do events, mouse events and that kind of thing, we can make sure that we're associated with the right control. So that's it for this one. Hope it helps. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.